What's going on, Loud and Proud crowd? So we're actually back here at my buddy Jeshua's place, and we've been doing some deer habitat work and stuff for the Brotherhood Outdoors channel. If you guys wanna go see those videos, it's Brotherhood Outdoors. Go subscribe on the YouTube. It'll probably be down in the description below. It usually always is. So we've been filming and doing a lot for that channel recently, so we're gonna be resurrecting that channel, bringing it back to life, because we're in the process of trying to purchase a dream house on like 90 acres of woods huge shop. I mean, it's like everything Reagan and I have always talked about and always wanted. So we might be making a huge move here soon. So stay tuned. That's not all like 100% right now, but that's the goal and that's what we're working on. We're in contract. It's just as long as everything goes smooth, it'll happen. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, um, we're back here right now and he's going to be taking his truck back into the woods. And he's actually up to a spot right now that we got to do a little bit more cutting, a little bit more opening up, a little bit muddy. So I thought I'd take the camera back, get it on video just in case something fun happens. So he's trying to clean this up. So there's all this mud through here. This is all soft. There's actually like a mud pit right here that actually was an old watering hole that still holds water. He's got to take the truck through here without getting stuck in that. Get it across here. Mind you, this is all slippery and muddy and whatnot. And he's going to take it down in this little dip, which shouldn't be a big deal as long as he didn't slide over and hit a tree or something. And then there's a turnaround spot right up between those trees and back. So hopefully it all goes well and the old bow tie doesn't get stuck back here in the wilderness left for dead. Because if that happens, we won't be allowed to leave it back here. We're going to have to get it out somehow. So anyways guys, stay tuned. We're gonna see what happens. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Mud, 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 dry. Back in his 16 and 17 year old days, he used to mud this thing all over the freaking place. Oh, that's tight, that's tight. Oh my gosh, he actually cleared that. Okay. Now go that way. Wow. Okay. smoked that tree. Yeah, I did that. Did it, did it almost hit the tree? No, it did. It just took the side of the truck in. Are you serious? Oh, heck no. Oh, it just slid down the, the slope and right into the truck. Oh, no. Did it? Oh, oh heck no. Oh, oh wow. That's, that can be pulled, but, well, yeah. <laughs> Oh no. It just slid like this and yeah, uh, got it. When you were going through, I'm like, oh crap. I'm like he's gonna slide over. Yeah, the back end. I, th I thought you cleared them because I didn't hear any scra I didn't hear any scraping or nothing. You probably can't even hear it in the audio. I just saw your truck slide over and I was like, oh crap. Look, you can see the skid mark. Yeah. The back end just went <laughs> Dude, you can see what hit right here and it rubbed the bark off. Dang. Woo! I was like, I'm gonna take my camera because <laughs> something stupid's gonna happen. <laughs> I, I just had this to, feeling. I'll have to get on Amazon and suction cup this and get a suction cup for it and pull it out. Because yeah. this is pullable. That that was from a trash can I hit in like high school. Yeah. But that you can tell just by how it uh, popped in, yeah. yeah. That was quick. <laughs> I was gonna say that didn't take long. <laughs> so how are you gonna turn around? Are you gonna pull up and back in there? That's a decent pull by pull though. Four by four works. Got the back loaded up. She's getting a little Cali lean right now. <laughs> Man, she's spotting pretty good.
almost out. You're almost out. You had to go through all this. You're almost out. It's one of those situations where if like you had a two-wheel drive, bro, you had luck. <laughs> you're not you're not even gonna attempt this. Man. Old girl still got it. Well, we're actually in the truck and it is day number two for this video, putting it together here for you guys. And really quick here, so before we get much further into this video, I would just like to remind you guys of the fact that we have another giveaway live right now. And yes, you have the option between this 2015 6 7 Cummins, which is deleted in tune. Sounds really good. I did not do the work to that, neither did the previous owner. It was done earlier on in the purchase of the vehicle back in, I think like 2016 or 17-ish. But anyway, so um, we did not do it but it is deleted and tuned already. And you have the option between not just that truck, but Frosty, the 12 valve, five speed manual, and $5,000 of cash. So take your pick. We're trying to make it kind of uh, more comparable being a Cummins versus a Cummins and trying to make it more similar in terms of value being a super nice, clean second gen five speed with five grand and a 2015 Tradesman with only 58,000 miles on it. So obviously the Tradesman's worth a little bit more, but the second general $5,000 cash, it'll give it a run for its money. It's still not really 100% comparable, but it's pretty darn close. So super excited. Cannot wait to see the transformation of this truck here. We're going to be doing some things to it. Not anything crazy, but we are going to just really improve the cosmetic appearance of this truck, make it look a little more tactical and aftermarket. But anyways, guys, stay tuned and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Is this still part of the video? Yes, this is still part of the same video from yesterday where he not only dented the Chevy, but we're going to actually try to fix that in this video as much as we can sure so Joshua explain to them what happened and I'll tell them a brief situation so well actually calls me he says hey man I'm driving down the road my truck just got a big puff of white smoke stopped running can't start it back up and I thought initially I may have run it out of fuel but generally my truck will go down to an eighth before I know okay it's time to go to get some fuel so I was at a quarter which I don't know I guess it could be going in between an eighth and a quarter yeah but I was like my, my initial thought was well I must have ran out of fuel which I may have because he said he was going uphill too at the time. Of yeah, life. and it may have caused a problem. Well, once I stopped, I went and got fuel, put 15 gallons in it, and still nothing happened. And it just, I'll show you in a minute, but it just cranks and cranks and cranks, never turns over. So here's my fuel filter connected to my, what's it called, a V pump. And there's obviously no fuel in it right now, which means there's an air leak somewhere, but it's probably because when I was trying to test to see if it was pulling through the filter, because that happened to me once. The filter got so clogged that no fuel was getting to the truck. So I had to put a new one in. So what I did was I, I put it direct and still nothing but it was pulling fuel so i redid it all but now there's an air leak somewhere so there's no fuel in the filter itself right now or in the truck but when i start to turn it over uh, turn it over you'll see that the pump's still pulling fuel up and still trying to get it in the truck now there's a lot of air in it so that not, could be the problem you know now that i'm thinking about it do you guys remember when i had my silver dually and i could not get it to start do you remember me having that problem i think so yeah and i just swapped out injectors and i could not get the truck to start and i thought maybe it's the delivery valves and like that doesn't make sense maybe it's this well, that doesn't make sense i'm like going through all this crap and i was trying to turn over turn over turn over turn over turn and this was for like two days straight and i was just like i know what it is it was um somebody had messaged me i gotta find that i'm gonna find that video but somebody had messaged me something and made a comment and they said did you check this and it was something really stupid and i'm like are you joking and I actually went through and i did what they said truck fired right off and i couldn't <laughs> believe it actually i'm so surprised like i'm just now thinking about this because you were saying that there's there must be air like because there's a gap in the right, fuel if filter i ran it out it would have pulled air in right yeah but it was still getting some fuel also there's a little lever on my ve pump <clears throat> and i'm not sure ex exactly what that is either i'll reach in here and move it but it's this lever see that mm, yeah so yeah, it's yeah. like a is it a shutoff valve i don't know I it's don't kind know. of pressurized at least oh look it's pulling fuel in when i do that it must be a prime maybe it's a primer it must be the primer well then look at all that air coming in i wonder if it's any of my fittings i should go get something and tighten all those fittings up it's filling up with fuel fast now though okay so that's my prime i guess i should prime it up real good huh but anyways what we were going to do is ask you guys that own these 12 valves or maybe you've worked on them or whatever if you have knowledge as to what would cause the big white smoke puff and the truck not start back up he was going uphill a little bit at the time we don't have a lot of hills around here but thing and it's not his head gasket because he checked his oil and all that stuff and so so i think there must just be the air and it's there's a big enough air leak that it can't like, pull the fuel strong enough well so. we'll see what we get and then if we come up with anything else yeah we'll let you know but if not comment down below what you guys think might be the issue with the truck not starting when it ran perfectly fine before and it was just going uphill big puff of smoke and he was low on fuel but I want to hear from you.
you guys what you think it might be. So explain what's going on right now, Josh. Okay, so looks like we're holding a vacuum now. I just tightened everything up as hard as I could. There's no little air bubbles and it's primed up. So I'm gonna try to start it really quick. I told him if that doesn't work, we can crack the injectors just, just loosen up so you can see if fuel bubbles out of the top of the lines right here, because it'll do that. And then if there's no fuel bubbling out, then we know that it could be the fuel shut off, which is behind the pump, or prime it and turn it over until we get fuel cracking up out of there. But he's just gonna test it now and see what happens. Nothing. It's the same thing it's been doing. Yeah, maybe we should crack those really quick. Yeah, but we're gonna crack the lines and just see if there's just still air in there that's causing an issue. Okay, so. We're not super excited yet, but we are. So what was that, five minutes of tr troubleshooting? Yeah, so basically first step was we had to get air to stop coming into the filter so it wasn't pulling. So once we were priming it, there was no air bubbles coming in anymore. So then Malky's like, well try starting it now. And it filled up more, but still nothing. Still nothing happened. Firing. And we started hearing something when I was priming it actually. We started hearing like air bubbles almost like air like sh 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 Something and it was like, on. and it was like in these lines. Yeah. So then Malk is like, dude, these things are super easy to bleed. Let's just crack them all loose. So come over here. Um, we took a 17 millimeter wrench and just busted all these loose. They're not on there tight because you don't want to over crank them. They're like maybe 15, 20. So pounds, yep, we loosened them up. There was fuel coming out of one already dripping. Yeah, a well, little bit. One slightly. had a drip of fuel, and then after like two crank, no, 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 just priming it for yeah. like a minute. Two of these started bleeding, but nothing else, and they were all the way yeah. loose. And, no and fuel. I just kept priming it, and nothing was happening. Felt like it was just air, no pressure. So then he's like, "Well, get in, try turning it over." Well, I turned it over, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then boom, 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 and then it was like spray, 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 one after so another. So fuel out of all of them. So now um, I'm gonna hop in and try to start it. But that was after like five, six seconds of crank, 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 yeah. crank, crank, and then it was fuel, 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 fuel. So I was like, okay, well, so we had to it's not your shutoff solenoid. There's not yeah. a vacuum leak anymore. So then we just tighten them all up and it kind of started to sound like it was going to start so so yeah we didn't want to start it we wanted to save that for you guys or see if it starts at all but we'll see now regularly if it's getting fuel this baby just go but it hasn't ran in a while three weeks or more yeah close should i just hold it yeah After doing his little happy dance from getting the truck running again we're gonna go and run a couple errands real quick and then get back over here to work on something else but hopefully guys enjoyed this video I know he enjoyed this one more than probably any of them right now that his trucks running just fine again but anyways guys do not forget check this out every five dollars you spend is ten entries to win this truck or my 96 12 valve with five thousand dollars cash five-speed manual South Bend dual disc clutch I mean everything it's it's a sweet sweet 12 valve no rust not bondoed up not patched up like it's a hundred percent original truck Anyways, every five dollars is ten entries. No surprises, no random, you know, entry changes for this giveaway. We're gonna do a giveaway where the whole thing start to finish. Everything is just clear as day. No entry changes. Every five bucks is ten entries, and that's the best deal we've ever ran. And we're gonna do it the entire giveaway. Ends though January 21st, which is this month, and then it's over. So get in while you can. You get your option between this, deleted and tuned, 2015, 67 Cummins, only 58,000 miles on it. That's right, 58,000 miles, or a 96 12 valve five-speed manual with five thousand dollars cash. Take your pick. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.